I would like to show you how to draw a hibernating bear like this. So let's get started. We're going to use shapes and lines to make this hibernating bear. First, I'm going to make the bear's head using an oval like this. And then a letter C is a good letter to use for the ears. And since the bear is sleeping, we'll show his eyelids closed. And a little nose down here. He's sleeping, sleeping, sleeping away. And then for his body, we're going to start by putting our pencil right by his head and make a larger oval like this. To make his hands or his arms, you use a letter U like this. And make a few little toes. And his back leg is another oval like this. And some little toes. And a little fluffy tail. When the bear hibernates, he goes into a, a hole that he dug with his strong claws. So we're going to make that um, little cave with a kind of a rainbow line, a curved line around his body keeping him safe and warm. Another line like this. And then we're going to make a mountain on top of this where he's got his his hibernation cave in the side of a mountain. Up on top of the mountain are some pine trees. So I start with some straight lines like this. And then I used a crayon to make some curved lines to make the pine tree look like a pine tree. And I'm going to use a green and start with a, a curved line like this. And then as I go down the, the tree trunk, it gets longer and curves down and gets longer. Start short, and then as you go down, it gets a little bit longer, curves like a pine tree, like this. And then to color the bear, I'm going to choose to, to make a brown bear. So I'm going to color his fur. Furry, make him a furry brown bear. He's got fur all over his body, even on his legs. And even on his face, he's all covered with fur to protect his body from the cold of winter. So I'm going to color all of his body with brown fur like this. And when he's deep inside of his cave, it's very dark. So I use a black to show how dark the cave is. Oops, it's purple. I'm, co <coughs> I'm covering, coloring around his body to show what a dark cave he's in. In the side of the mountain. He's resting all winter long. His 
body is resting and his heart is beating slowly while he waits for the food to be growing in the springtime when he can come out and have some leaves and berries and good things to eat from the earth. Um, I'm going to use a gray crayon to show the side of the mountain is rocks. Like this. I'm turning my crayon as I color so it, that the crayon doesn't just get turned on one side. It can keep it going. It doesn't get too pointy and break. Turning it as I go. Like this. Sometimes I even use the end of the crayon. Because that's handy too. this. Just keep going like this. Show the rocks. And you can make some blue sky. And if you color around a white area, like if you make a shape like a cloud in the sky, like this, ahead of time, then when you color softly, you can color around the white and it'll look like a cloud. I'll show you what I mean, like this. You color around that white cloud shape that you made ahead of time. Like this. And I'm coloring right on top of the trees because it'll show through like this. I'm just coloring softly, I'm not pressing down too hard to make it a light blue like the sky. Like that. And then you can add in some yellow, if you like, for some sunshine. Just color right on top of that blue. Make it look like the sun is going down, maybe. And there you have it. A bear hibernating for the winter. <laughs>